Hello, and welcome to my channel. Thank you all for your generous unwavering support at Twitch and YouTube over the past month. Your support motivates me to provide you with more weekly Fallout 76 content. In this video, we are going to do our weekly purveyor roll video. If you see something that you like, reply in the comments section below or you can join my daily Twitch stream. Looking forward to meeting you. What an interesting start. A two-shot ultrasight Gatling laser. Amazingly, two shots have the worst hip-fire accuracy. But, for the case of lasers, it is rather easy to control the hip-fire accuracy. A 15% faster reload is useful as it takes ages to slot a new fusion core into this weapon. Ah, a blooded railway rifle. A 15% faster reload is another good modifier to have. The only downside is that you do not get back your railway spikes if you shoot this weapon in vats. This is considered a niche weapon and people use it to differentiate themselves as it gives off a choo-choo sound when reloading. Did you know that in order to get a fixer, you would require a fixer plan which can only be obtained from the encrypted event quest? The plan is selling for less than 10,000 caps these days. This fixer isn't so fancy, but it is a decent fixer as fixers are quite rare to find these days. Quad weapons are my favorite. You can create a lot of havoc and serve a lag with a modified quad gamma gun. Use a larger dish in order to create more area of effect damage. Shooting this weapon in vats now is still bugged as it hits only less than 5 damage. As I always mention in my previous videos, if you give me revolvers and pistols, I am going to have a hard time finding a caption for this part of the video. Thank goodness for its 90% reduced weight, and 25% faster fire rate as you can go gunslinger Chuck Norris at the Scorch Beast Queen. So, time and time again, we get harpoon guns. If you are interested in niche weapons, a quad harpoon gun is totally a fun weapon to have. Modify the harpoon gun to have the flechette mod, and you can obtain back your harpoons after each shot. This works well in vats. This is an excellent gun to farm those ammo points. Harpoon guns take a longer time to break now. So this is totally worth retrying it again. The 25% faster fire rate and 25% VATS action point will allow you to have more pew pew in VATS. Does anybody want this weapon now? Come find me on Twitch or on our Discord channel. This is really terrible to receive so many crossbows in one purveyor roll. Well, this is definitely not a content filler because I have a caption for it.
Yes, another crossbow, guys. Bolts and arrows are way too slow for the life in the wasteland. Even super mutants shoot faster than your crossbow. Okay, so check this, a vampire tesla rifle with 25% faster fire rate. In my preference, I would pick a quad tesla rifle because it gives you more pew pew action. A vampire tesla rifle is a good to have in earl battles, because you can chain wendigos and be constantly at the brim of your health bar. Does anybody want this weapon now? Come find me on Twitch or on our discord channel. The number of gamma guns for this purveyor roll live stream is just astonishing. I remember for people who play blooded builds, they would carry a gamma gun with them, just so that they can constantly replenish their radiation. One of the best guns to play with, is a broadsider. However, for slow reloading weapons, you should always opt for a quad variant instead. For broadsiders, it is still bugged to shoot it in bats because it does only less than 10 damage but deals quite a punch. Has anybody counted how many 10mm submachine guns we have gotten so far in these 8 minutes? This is insane. Leave a comment below on how many submachine guns I've gotten so far, and win 5 stable flux. This Gatling Plasma is not decent at all. I think we only get one Gatling Plasma from every 5 purveyor roll videos. This weapon, along with the 50 caliber machine gun have the lowest chances of getting from purveyor rolls. Now, this is a sexy fixer. A two shot fixer with 25% less VATS action point cost. It's not perfect, but two shot weapons give you 20% more damage at an opportunity cost of accuracy. But some weapons accuracy are not exactly affected. For an example, the auto grenade launcher where two shot gives you more explosive area of effect chances cause two explosions are caused. And, here we go, 
a quad cryo later modify a crystallizing barrel to it, and it can really shoot far. A 15% faster reload speed does help as this weapon takes ages to reload. The downside to having a quad variant is it consumes way too much cryo cells, and it takes quite a few shots to freeze the Skork Best Queen. Well, almost near the end of this video, I hope you have enjoyed and I look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like, comment and suggest new ideas for my next video. You can also support me on Twitch as I stream regularly.